next sixth problem cos ax once again i repeat in the examination the cos x may not be asked it it may be cos of ax plus b or cos 2x or cos 3x or cos 4x or sometimes cos of x by 3 also may be asked in the examination but method is same the same method has to be adopted so here let f of x is equal to cos a x now f of x plus h this is cos of a times x plus h this can be simplified cos of a x plus a h ok. Now, from the first principles from the first principles f dash x is equal to d y by d x is limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h next f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 this is cos of a x plus a h minus f of x is cos a x by h this is cos c minus cos d the cos c minus cos d also we have discussed in the transformation chapter see the cos c minus cos d equals to minus 2 sin of c plus d by 2 the sin c minus d by 2 these formulae are to be remembered are to be kept in mind always they play major role while doing such kind of problems. So, now this is equal to limit h tends to 0 this is c this is d minus 2 sin of a x plus a h plus a x by 2 and sin of a x plus a h minus a x by 2 upon h. So, now a x a x gets cancelled take minus 2 common minus 2 limit h tends to 0 this is sin of 2 a x by 2 a x plus h by a h by 2 into sin of a h by 2 by h ok let us think one thing if h approaches to 0 what about a h by 2 that also becomes 0. So, now let us write as a product of two limits minus 2 limit h tends to 0 sin of a x plus a h by 2 ok into limit a h by 2 tends to 0 as h approaches to 0 this also 0 sin a h by 2 into here a h by 2 into a by 2 by a right now 
a a gets gets cancelled, two two gets cancelled. That will be h only. This is limit theta tends to zero sin theta by theta. This is one one by two by a. That becomes a by two. This is minus two into sin of. This is zero. A x into that will be a by two. Two two gets cancelled. So minus a sin a x. So therefore, d by d x of cos a x is minus a sin a x. Next problem. Seventh one. Tan two x. Tan two x. So don't confine to the, this problem. Tan two x. You can change tan three x, tan four x, or some tan of two x plus three. Or tan of a x plus b. You are able to solve the problems using first principles also. Let us suppose f of x is equal to tan two x. F of x plus h is equal to tan of Two times x plus h. This is tan of two x plus two h. From the first principles. From the first principles. From the first principles. What is f dash x? Is dy by dx limit h tends to zero f of x plus h minus f of x by h? Now. f dash x is equal to for our convenience we can write limit h tends to zero one by h times this is tan of two x plus two h minus this is tan two x. So why should we write means In the case of tan function, in the case of cot function, in the case of secant x function, in the case of cosecant x function, it had better to follow this strategy. So now, limit h tends to zero, one by h times change the tan in terms of sine and cos. So this can be written. Sine of two x plus two h by cos of two x plus two h minus sine two x by cos two x. This is equal to limit h tends to zero one by h into now. Cos of two x plus two h into cos two x sine two x plus two h into cos two x minus cos of two x plus two h into sine two x.
Now observe the numerator that is nothing but compound angles sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. Those who are actually watching this first time, if you want more, you can watch my compound angles video, then you will get the idea about compound angles. This is sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. So, this is sin of A minus B formula. Now, this can be written limit h tends to 0 1 by h times sin of 2 x plus 2 h minus 2 x by cos of 2 x plus 2 h into cos 2 x this 2 x 2 x gets cancelled. Now, this can be written limit h tends to 0 sin 2 h by this h write down into limit h tends to 0 1 by cos 2 x plus 2 h into cos 2 x. Okay, we have one formula. What is the formula? I will write. Limit 2h tends to 0. This can be written sin 2h by 2h into 2. It makes no difference and into 1 by limit h tends to 0 cos of 2 x plus 2 h into cos 2 x. If you say 2 h is theta, limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is 1. So, this is 1 into 2 1 by cos 2 x into cos 2 x. So, this is 2 times 1 by cos square 2 x, this is 2 times secant square 2 x. So, 2 secant square 2 x. Therefore, d by d x of tan 2 x is equal to 2 secant square 2 x.